Happy Valentine's Day. If you're currently in a relationship, the next time you are with the person that you love, maybe sitting across each other from a candle lit dinner, or maybe watching that romantic movie on Netflix together on the couch, I want you to stare deep into their eyes. And when they whisper those three magical words, I love you, whisper these four magical words right back. Wanna share a grave? And if they don't freak out, then you've got a keeper. In 3800 BC, a young couple were buried together in a final embrace that was hoped to keep them together for all eternity. Until we came along, that is. Now, the remains of the men and women who are said to have died in their 20s have been uncovered in the Diros Cave in the Peloponnese region of Greece. The prehistoric remains were positioned curled into the fetal position as if uh, spooning each other. The grave also contained broken arrowheads. Researchers leading the excavation of of the cavern described the find as stunning and said it is possibly the oldest grave ever found in the country. The remains were initially found in 2013 and have now been analyzed using radiocarbon dating. The results of the analysis showed the bones belonged to a man and a woman both aged between 20 to 25 dating back almost 6,000 years. The cavern is known as Alipotripa or Foxhole and was found in the 1950s. During the 1970s, archaeologists began excavating the site. Experts believe hundreds of people lived inside the cavern before the entrance collapsed, burying everyone alive 5,000 years ago. It has previously even been linked with myths about the Greek underworld god Hades. Over the years, archaeologists have found tools, pottery, silver, and copper artifacts in the cave said to date back to the Neolithic age. The cave was also used as a cemetery and for burial rituals, and this in particular led researchers to believe it inspired the legend of of Hades' underworld. In Greek legend, Hades was the king of the underworld, a hidden kingdom of the dead, also referred to as hell. Researchers do not know how the couple died, but the fact that they were buried together in this fashion suggests that they died either at the same time or during a similar time frame. Whether this place really inspired the myths of Hades, uh, I'm not too sure about that. But you know, this story could be made into a movie, like a prehistoric Romeo and Juliet thing. You know, maybe they each came from families that hated each other star-crossed lovers who faced countless difficulties like uh, what the wrath of Zeus or the Trojan War. Then they made a plan to meet and run away together to the city of Troy. Sorry, that was the only city that came to mind. But before they do, they needed to fake their own deaths. So the girl drank some elixir that made it look like that she was poisoned and that she had passed on. And of course, she didn't tell the guy because, you know, text messaging wasn't available back then. So the guy found her unconscious and thought she had died. So then he stabbed himself to death with uh, some arrows that he was carrying. And as the girl woke up, she saw the guy dying from his self-inflicted wound, and before he died, they promised that they would be buried together for all of eternity. Then 6,000 years later, we found them, and of course, in the name of science, we dug them both up. Alright guys, let me know what you thought of this story. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there, and don't forget to ask that question, you know, one about the grave thing. Thanks for watching. See you later.